hello friends welcome to another video as a friend in this video we will be uh, discussing related to snmp trap so in this video we will see what is meaning of snmp trap and where exactly uh, these are getting used so let's first see what is snmp so basically snmp is a full is a short form of simple network management protocol and it is a standard protocol that is used by network devices to manage and report critical information about other devices basically now the main benefit of this protocol is that it is currently supported by many devices and it enables th those devices to operate together so basically snmp functions based on the manager agent model so there will be one manager device and there will be multiple other agent devices so from snmp manager device uh, point of view agents would be remote network devices and uh, the agents can be of multiple types basically so it could be uh, from small office to global telecom network devices now these agent devices can be servers these could be routers these could be switches desktops or any other compatible devices a uh, device which is known as manager that device will send request and receive receives agents in responses in return so basically what manager device will do it will send a certain types of request in the udp protocol format to the agent devices and agent devices will respond to those request with the information requested by manager device so let's see what are the different types of snmp messages so we could see that there are five primary types of snmp messages first of all the message is known as one of the message is trap another message is get request then there is a get next request there is another request type which is get response and there is another request which is known as a set and these methods are used basically by snmp agent and snmp manager to communicate so we can see in the figure that uh, there is a device which is agent 5 uh, then we have a manager which is basically working as a trap receiver also then there is a master agent that could be ems device or any other type of device and then there are other types of agent devices so what will happen is manager will send a request uh, to master agent master agent will forward that request to specific agent devices and those agent devices will be responding with the response message to manager so again there is another types of message which is known as trap so we can see that trap is a unidirectional unidirectional message so basically agent devices will directly send trap message to manager and manager will not be sending any request for trap message whenever agents uh, basically find any kind of fault on them those will be sending a trap message to manager devices now let us see what is uh, known by snmp trap so snmp traps are most commonly used snmp messages and these are sent by agent devices to manager device whenever anything needs to be reported now snmp traps if we compare them with other messages they are kind of a unique because these are the messages which are directly initiated by snmp agent whenever any issue needs to be reported so basically what will happen whenever any device needs to send any kind of message to manager it can initiate a snmp trap message and that message will be sent to the manager device now the other types of messages which are apart from snmp trap those are either initiated by snmp manager or those will be sent as a response to manager's request uh, snmp traps generally are useful in a way because it is the most suitable way for any snmp agent to inform the manager that something wrong is going on the agent device so suppose there is some kind of issue which occurs on the agent device then agent device can send that information to manager device and it can send that uh, fault information into the trap message now snmp trap will be containing the trap oid and whereby details in the udp packet format so udp is again kind of a protocol uh, which is used for the communication between multiple telecom devices and that is kind of a uh, protocol where we do not get any kind of acknowledgement so the packet is just transferred and 
sender device doesn't wait for any kind of acknowledgement from the receiver now verbind is a kind of a fields which will be containing additional information about devices issues ip address of the device and any other kind of information which is useful in knowing the additional details now here again we can see in the diagram how the communication happens between the snmp agent and snmp manager so manager will send a get request and this agent will process that request and it will send a get response back to manager uh, however if we see the trap messages those are uh, initiated by agent and those are sent to manager so snmp traps are generally categorized into two types uh, there could be generic or standard traps and there could be enterprise specific trap so generic traps are six uh, uh, standard traps and those are defined in the rfc 1215 standard of engineering task force uh, internet engineering task force so first uh, trap type is known as cold start second trap type is warm start then there is a link down uh, then there is a link up and then we have authentication failure and then we have egp neighbor loss so basically these are standard traps and any device which supports snmp and which supports the mib required for these traps will be having capacity to trigger these traps basically uh, then there is the enterprise specific traps now these are kind of a custom traps and uh, those are generally defined by each individual organization so for example if we take example of a cisco company so cisco will have its own format for the uh, enterprise specific trap so they will have their own trap id and they will define the, uh, the field in their own way right so any kind of a manufacturers or it vendors they will be defining enterprise specific trap and uh, they will be sending information about specific objects of their devices so suppose tomorrow any cisco related device has any fault then cisco will its own trap id to send that message to the manager device in the trap format now snmp trap management is generally used for the monitoring of uh, faults on the uh, telecom network so manager if we want to enable manager device to receive snmp trap messages then we first need to enable snmp uh, in the managed devices now multiple devices will be supporting snmp out of the box uh, however it depends on the it vendor also or manufacturer uh, from whom we have procured the devices so they should install snmp on their box now once we install the device in the network we will explicitly need to enable snmp uh, in our it network then in some of the cases it vendors might only support one version of the snmp uh, like currently there are multiple versions of snmp so snmp version 1 snmp version 2c and there is also snmp version v3 also so based on our need we can choose the snmp versions now we should configure the agent devices also to send snmp trap messages to the manager and we need to ensure that device is aware that when it should send snmp trap messages right so basically it is again a kind of a software and we have to configure it in such a way that whenever any fault occurs that device should create snmp trap message and it should send it to the managed device so that configuration also will need to be done now as a snmp the standard networking protocol like multiple uh, devices support snmp in their own in their devices and they rely on snmp traps for efficient network management again snmp traps uh, will contain valuable information about devices in the managed uh, network domain so if your management uh, system i mean so our management system should be able to collect snmp traps and it should be able to analyze uh, them so there are multiple networking monitoring tools uh, which support snmp so using them we can support snmp or we can set up snmp trap management and we can integrate snmp traps data into our network so that that is a very efficient monitoring technology because uh, whenever any fault occurs in the network we can get the instant information that something wrong has happened on the device and accordingly the corrective action can be taken now where are snmp traps sent so uh, we need to configure a port on our devices where the manager can receive the traps so typically this port is known as 162 port and uh, this port is generally used by default 
uh, if you take widely about SNMP, then SNMP uses two port numbers. One is port 161. Now this port is used when NMS needs to send get, get next, get bulk or any kind of SNMP request to agent. So manager will be sending its request to agent devices on port 161. Now this we can configure this port. It is a configurable and we should make sure that both the device configurations are done. So if the NMS or manager device sends request on 161 port, then agent device should also be able to consume that information on the 161 port now next port is 162 port as we already seen this port is used by snmp agent to send trap or to integrate uh, those messages uh, to the nms again this port is also configurable and we need to ensure that port number used by snmp agent uh, to send the trap request is configured and manager is aware that it will be getting uh, SNMP traps on 162 port and accordingly the further processing of the trap should be enabled. Now what is community string? So community string is kind of a password or kind of a string which works as a password in the trap operation or SNMP operation. So this string is used by SNMP manager to communicate with SNMP agent and this string is also sent in the traps also. So this is kind of a predefined password kind of a string which we need to set up. Now let's see SNMP V2 traps example. So this is a snapshot of the Wireshark tool. Now Wireshark is a software which we uh, use for decoding the trap in the readable format. So we can see whenever we capture the packets, right? Those are captured in the PCAP uh, extension. So, so SNMP trap dot PCAP. Here we can see uh, how the trap has, trap actually looks like. So we can see that the trap version is V2C. Then we can see that the variable bindings are having the information the so first information is sysup time which is system of time then we have snmp trap oid so basically uh, whatever is this number right which is 1.3.6.1 4.18072 this is a trap oid and this is a unique identifier for identifying the trap which comes from the network then here we are only having few where binds however in the actual network we will have multiple where binds like there could be around 10 15 20 where binds which can come in the traps and those will hold held crucial information about the devices so it can have the uh, issue description it can have what remedy should be taken it can have information like how to correct that fault what is the ip address uh, what is the port number so all that kind of information can be sent so this is snmp v2 trap example now let's see how snmp v3 trap looks like so this is the example of snmp v3 so here the basic concepts remain same only thing is that snmp v3 allows higher security standards compared to v2c so in v2c we only have community string however in here we can see there is the authentication parameters also are there then there's a the privacy parameter so basically v3 traps are kind of an encrypted traps so we should have the uh, key to and to key to decrypt those traps basically so there will be authentication protocol there will be authentication key and then there will be privacy protocol and privacy key so that trap will be encrypted and for decrypting the trap and seeing the information inside the trap manager should have that information so it's kind of a password kind of a thing so whenever we protect any kind of a file with password right so whoever has the password only that person can see what is inside the file right this is sometimes very important because these trap packets will be flowing openly on the network uh, right and if somebody say like hacker or someone kind of gets hold of these packets and if it is in the readable format then that crucial information can be exposed right regarding the uh, devices of telecom monitoring uh, uh, operators or kind of uh, any other organization which uses this mechanism so for increasing the security uh, there is this uh, extra layer of security has been added so now if receiver has this kind of authentication password privacy password details then only these traps can be decoded and what exactly is the information flowing in this trap that can be seen so this is example of snmp v3 traps so friends this was the basic information about snmp traps uh, and uh, hope this video helped you so i will be 
creating uh, multiple such other videos on various topics so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you